Hey guys, it's Hitman23. I'm back with another video. I usually don't do two videos in one day, but I just felt the need to do another video. I just want to do another video, and I've been inspired um, to do another video. So here we go. Um, I am kind of focusing more on... Um, I'm going to try to focus more on my PC. And look at this right here. Somebody wants to be in the video. <sighs> Bowie wants to be in the video. Say, hey, Bowie. Say hi, everybody. Here's Bowie. Bowie's the best, right? Bowie's the best. He likes cards too, right? What's your favorite card? Tell me, which one's your favorite card? Oh, you want to you want to see those cards, huh? So Bowie wants me to show you um, some of his favorite cards. So I am going to show you, and I've shown these before um, a few years ago. And, um, you know, I've gotten some new subscribers over the last year, actually a, a decent amount. So uh, I'd like to show them again because so it keeps stuff, you know, fresh and um, in case people haven't seen it before. But I have to say of all of my PCs um, and I, you know, I PC a lot of things. So we know that uh, Lou Rock likes to call me the man of a thousand PCs. You know, first and foremost, you know, is, is, you know, my Don Mattingly and my Ricky Henderson and my Redskins PCs and my, all those other quirky PCs I have. You know, I, I build sets. So there's a lot of things that I do. I spread myself very thin in terms of um, how I collect and what I collect. That's why I'm not, you know, that's why I don't have like a huge Don Mattingly PC uh, like Nate has a Barry Bonds PC because I focus not on one thing. I just kind of go go as I see uh, fit and go where I kind of want to go and and you know uh, enjoy what I, I I am enjoying at that time. So I come come in and come out of different PCs, always changing the way I do things. Um, but nonetheless, I have to say I think my favorite PC, my all time favorite PC, and probably the one I'm most proud of is my um, Topps All-Star Rookie Cup PC. Um, I do have the entire run, um, save for four that were short printed back in 2010. Um, those are really tough cards to find, and I've been looking for them for years and still have not found them. Um, but I really can't count those because those are short printed. And um, like I said, they're, they're next to impossible to find. But I do have the full run starting with the 1960 Willie McCovey all the way up till present time. Um, it's gotten to the point where now I'm starting to do, trying to do the heritage ones, you know, and because I just love those trophy cups so dang much, you know, it's my favorite subset ever. And I've talked about that on my channel many, many, many times. Uh, the card that did it for me was a 1976 Topps Fred Lynn. And ever since I saw that card when I was a kid, I just fell in love with those trophy cups. So um, let's get started. I'm going to just show you tonight. I'm just going to focus on my graded ones. And I only have 19 graded ones. Uh, the rest are in a binder. So I, I'll, I'll do two separate videos. We'll, do, we'll just focus on the graded ones tonight. And then another night I will do, um, do the binder, the binder cards. All right. So here's Bobo. So Bowie wants to see the first. What's this one, Bowie? That's a nice one, huh? He likes that one. So the first card I'm going to show is actually the very first Topps All-Star Rookie Cup card. It's a 1960 Topps card, number 316, of Hall of Famer Willie McCovey. I love that card. The green on that card is so awesome. The, the image is just so crisp. And that trophy there and all of its glory. I love that yellow nameplate over the green background. I think it just pops so much. And um, gotta love that card. That is the, uh, that's the one that started it all, guys and girls. Um, the 1960 Tops Willie McCovey. So there's that. And the next card is another 1960 Tops. And it is of Bob Allison. Now, interestingly enough, uh, earlier in the day, I did a video on the um, one franchise PC that I'm, you know, working on. It just so happens to be that Bob Allison is in the one franchise PC as well. He played his entire career for the Twins. 
So Bob Allison is a 1960 Tops All-Star Rookie Cup card. And you've got to love that one with the batting cage in the back, too. I mean, come on. That's just too awesome. Right, Bowie? <laughs> He's so, this dog is so chill. He's the best. Next one is a tougher card because um, it's a high-numbered card. And this is the 1961 Tops Gem Gentile. Uh, notoriously off-centered card. To find one of these centered is like, you know, that's like a grail card. Um, this is definitely a tough card, not an inexpensive card. Um, but that's uh, a really nice uh, example of the 1961 Jim Gentile. And uh, love the backs of the 61s. I don't know why I just do. 61 tops kind of gets a kind of a bum rap a little bit. Uh, it's not like a go-to set for a lot of people. I actually don't mind it. I know it's just a lot of headshots and it's all posed, but I don't know. There's something about the the cleanliness of this design that I kind of like, and I like the colors they use at the bottom. I'm very into colors and vibrancy, so I kind of find this set a little vibrant. So uh, I kind of enjoy the 61 Tops. But there's the 61 Tops Jim Gentile. Next is another one that is a rookie card and a trophy cup card, right? So it's the 1961 Topps Ron Santo, and that is his rookie card, plus it's got the trophy on it. So there's been a few during the, the run that, that are both rookie cards and all-star rookie cup cards. Um, so obviously the first one was the Willie McCovey. It's his rookie card, plus it's the All-Star Rookie Cup card. So, But a lot of times it's their second year card that has the Rookie Cup on it. So as you can see in 61, the trophy changed a little bit um, from 60 to 61. It got a little more defined in 61. On the 1960 tops, you can see it's not as defined right it's not as defined you can see that right there and then by 61 top side little redesign action and they added the the wording on the front of the year so that says tops um 1960 all-star rookie on the front there so very cool so the design has changed a little bit and you'll see as as i go through the uh as I go through the run, that the Rookie Cups has changed over the years. They went from, you know, a trophy style to a cup, and then the cup changed, and, you know, so, interestingly so. My uh, fourth card in the run, or is this my fifth? This is my fifth. It's another rookie card that has a trophy on it, and it is none other than Hall of Fame manager Joe Torre. Love that card. That is a beautiful card. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the 62 Tops. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. I think there are some great photos. Like, this card has a great photo. It's very bright. Uh, looks like the sun shining. There are some 62 Tops cards. It looks like they were taken during a hurricane or, you know, at, at night in the dark because they're so dark background. And it just doesn't, the cards don't pop. I like cards that pop. And to me, that card pops. Just with the cool big old catcher's mitt and the beautiful trophy cup down here. I mean, I always like the um, this style of design here with this little design uh, element where it looks like it's a you know it's like a you know it looks like an old bill that you would find on the wall like in the city, right? You pass by a building or something or on a fence, and there'd be some bill on the wall or like a movie or a, you know. A, a show or something or and it's like peeling off the wall so i think that's a very cool design element but overall the 62 tops are kind of eh for me but not that one that's just awesome sauce right there great card the next is the second year card of hall of famer billy williams now that's a nice one as well i like that card he looks uh, bright on that card. His uniform is nice and, you know, it stands out. You get, it's a great defined photo of Billy Williams. 
Um, it's well, you know, the, 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 the image is well centered, um, you know, in the frame. So uh, just a great image of, of Billy Williams. And of course, you know, again, there's a trophy down there. Uh, that card just pops, and it's, uh, it's a great second-year card of Mr. Billy Williams. So my next card is, this is a really nice-looking card. This is the 1963 Topps Boog Powell. And 63 Topps um, was a pretty cool design. Um now, this, these cards that have the trophy on them do not obviously contain the, the second photo of the player because the other cards, and Bowie's going to point to it right here. See right there? Well, yeah, he don't want to do that. But right where the trophy cup is, on the other cards of the non-trophy cup players, you know, like the 98% of the other cards have a, a, a photo of, of the player on the front. And it's interesting because in 1983, Topps did that again with the second photo, and if you look, you know, you put a 1963 Tops next to a 1983 Tops, they're very similar, um, and that you notice that Tops kind of does those, you know, at 20, 30, you know, 25 years later, they'll, they'll take design elements, and I think do um, uh, homage, or homage, pay homage to the set, you know, from before, so this is a very nice looking 63 Tops Boog Powell, again with that beautiful trophy cup. Next is another um, for a while, this card seemed to be tough, but, um, I don't know if it's that tough anymore. It was, it was a little on the expensive side, uh, nothing outrageous, but it's the, uh, second year card of Tom Tresh. Second year card of Tom Tresh. And I believe both Boog Powell and Tom Tresh's rookie cards in the 1962 top set had a little rookie star designation on them there's a little star it said like 1962 rookie or something like that and then the following year they get the trophy cup um, there on their cards so that says a yankee fan this is a great card um i have his rookie card it's in my yankee team set binder um, but that's just a beautiful beautiful looking card right there of mr tom tresh and again a little tougher on that card right there uh, next card is, was a grail card of mine for the longest time. And I remember um, seeing this card for the first time. It was on the cover of a magazine. And I believe it was the Baseball Cards magazine back in like probably the mid-80s, 85 or 86. And there was an article in that magazine about the trophy cup cards. And that's what kind of got me started. So... I really started focusing on that way back in the mid '80s. Those trophy cup cards, okay? Because now, mind you, Topps didn't put any uh, trophy cups on their cards between uh, 1979 and 1986. There were no trophy cups. So this one here, um, I had to sell a good amount of stuff um, to pick this card up. Um, but this is again, I'm so you know, honored to be able to have this card in my collection. And it is definitely, definitely a thousand percent times better than his rookie card. Um, it is the 1964 Tops Pete Rose. I never really thought I'd ever actually own this card. And I'm, like I said, I'm really, 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 really proud to have, uh, you know, have this in my collection. Um, what an awesome card that is. Just everything about it. Uh, Pete Rose's gap tooth grin, the Reds cool, you know, jersey uniform with the cut sleeves, the batting cage in the back, the trophy cup, just a awesome, awesome looking card. So I've got that and I've got it unrubbed. No, no rubbings on the back there. So again, this card um, found its way into my collection about three or four years ago and I am so oh, overly happy to uh, have that in the in the in the PC so the beautiful 1964 tops Peter Edward Rose all right next one another one of my favorites I mean it's like trying to pick your favorite kid you can't do it this is one of my all-time favorite rookie cup cards um, one of my all-time favorite designs 
Um, and I've said this before, this team and this design just looks utterly fantastic. It's the 1965 Tops Richie Allen. And again, that car just is gorgeous. Love that car. Just the the color combination they decided to use for the Phillies that year. That that bright blue with the offsetting with the red. It just that card pops so much. The yellow trophy, that banner, or not the banner, but the the pennant there with the team name. The Phillies look amazing. Amazing in the 65 tops design. I can't say enough about the Phillies. In fact, I, I get to the point where I almost want to do the Phillies team in the 1965 tops. Um, it's not a set I'm currently working on completing, um, but it's um, it's 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 my favorite set of the 60s for sure. And that card is just absolutely amazing. What a beautiful card that is. So again, very happy to have that in my PC. And again, better than the rookie card in terms of how it looks. Um, you know, he's got the double uh, rookie card in the 64 tops with him and another player. Um, cool card to have, you know, that's no doubt about that. But again, this card to me just blows the doors off of that one. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put you down now. Okay, Bowie, Bowie's getting tired. He wants to go down. So I'm going to put him on the chair. And there he goes. Right, Bo? So there's 65 tops, Richie Allen. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Love it, love it, love it. Then we got the next card is the uh, 65 Tops Burt Campaneris um, card. And you can still see it's the Kansas City Athletics at that point. So they haven't gone over to the green uniform yet. I think they may have worn them kind of. I think they had the green in their arsenal, but they had the blue as well. So, again, um, once they went to Oakland, what, in 68, I believe, they fully went to the green uniforms. But that's, again, that's a beautiful card. That's a really, really nice looking card. Love the 65s. Uh, next card. What could have been? What could have been? The 65 tops Tony Canigliero. This guy started off his career with a bang. Um, tragically, was beaned by a pitch in 1967 and was never the same afterwards. Uh, my guess is that, you know, had he not had that crazy injury uh, and that accident, he may have been, you know, a Hall of Famer. I mean, he was definitely putting some years together at the beginning of his career. And uh, unfortunately, uh, that uh, that beaming took a lot out of him. It actually shortened his life. He actually passed away in, 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 in his early 40s. From a lot of side, you know, side effects from that meaning, and uh, you know, unfortunately, that's you know, uh, that's just how it was. Um, but the Tony Canigliaro card, just a great, you know, again, great looking card, great '65 tops card. Um, you know, just as a baseball fan, you know, I'm not a Red Sox fan, but gotta love the card. You know, I'm a baseball fan, so first, and that's just a great card. Again, that trophy cup, just or the, that tr it's not a trophy cup; it's actually a trophy. Um, just makes that card pop even more. So that is beautiful. Now we're going to jump up to 1966. And this is probably my highest graded rookie cup card. And it's the Kurt Bleffery. Kurt Bleffery. He was uh, he became a Yankee in the early 70s. Um, that's just a really nice looking card. Um, I am working on the 66 top set. So... So there we go. I have that card. That's my only 66 tops I have in graded, graded uh, form. Um, that's just a really nice card. The back of that's like really nice and crispy white and just bright and vibrant. Front is same. You know, really good centering and just just a nice looking card. <clears throat> so there's that. Now another biggie, biggie von Miggy. Another card I'm so proud to have in the collection. And again. Better than the rookie card, in my humble opinion. Okay. Um, yes, the rookie card is awesome. And it's, you know, I don't own the rookie card. Maybe someday. But um, I find this card just much more aesthetically pleasing. It is the 1969 Topps Johnny Bench. And again, whew, man, that card is... I, I, just, I, I can't say enough about this card. Um, I have mentioned this card. I've shown this card a few times in my on my channel, and I will always talk about 
the vibrancy of this card. Again, just like the 65 Phillies, I think the 69 Reds look amazing on this design. Again, 69, they kind of brought back the design a little bit, a little less, you know, in your face. You know, just with the circular nameplate up there and the name of the team. But look at that. It's got, you know, the Johnny and his, you know, catching crouch. You got that big, that big mitt. Um, the the field behind him, the green field, the the, the ads on the wall, um, that you know the red uniform offset with that beautiful bright blue nameplate, um, the trophy and the team name just go together with that yellow. Just that card just pops right off at you, and that's what it's all about to me. It's it's really how the cards look and how they make you feel, man. That card just makes me happy. I just love that card so. Um, that's again one of my favorites, one of my all time faves. So, the 1969 Johnny Bench, and then the back of that one. Again, very, very honored to have that in my PC. Next one is a rookie card, and it is of Barry Bonds. I'm sorry, Barry Bonds. I, I made a boo boo. It's Bobby Bonds, Barry's dad. Barry's dad. This is his rookie card. Again, so it's another one of those rookie cards that has the trophy cup on it. And uh, just a very, very nice looking card. Again, very nice looking card. I also like the way the Giants look in the 1969 uh, top set. I like that green, the green nameplate there just kind of, again, pops off of the, uh, kind of that image just pops off the card. Kind of just really nice. So there's that one. And that is, uh, that's actually a high number card, number 630. All right, next. This is kind of a famous card. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely a cooler, one of the cooler cards. It's the rookie card of Bobby Cox as a Yankee, the uh, great manager of the uh, Atlanta Braves. So this is a pretty collectible card. You know, he's a, he's a Hall of Fame manager. Not a Hall of Fame player, but again, a very cool card. And um, just a neat one to have in the collection. So the 1969 Bobby Cox. And what's cool about the 69 cards is that was the year I was born. So a little special, you know, special place in my heart for the 69 top set. I probably should work on that set and put it together but right now, I'm working on too many other projects. So that's not going to happen right now. And another one. Another one that I just absolutely love that I have it in my collection. Um, and I was lucky to pick this card up, I don't know, about five years ago. At least five years ago. And I could tell you how much I paid for it then. And it's not there anymore. It is the 1971 Tops Thurman Munson. Again, one of those cards I had looked at forever wanting to add it to my collection. One of the greatest baseball cards ever made right there. Right there. Just unbelievable. Um, I was lucky enough to find this card. And that's a pretty centered copy of that card. This card is notoriously off-center. And... Um, I think I did a pretty good job finding finding a uh, a pretty centered copy. I paid eighty five dollars for that card. Um, that card is no longer eighty five dollars. Um, so I was super lucky to get that when I did. And again, one of those cards, a second year card, that's actually, you know, if we're just gonna talk about value. Has, holds more value than a rookie card. Again, he's got the dual rookie card in 1970, a card I do want to add to my collection. Um, but just not, you know, aesthetically, it's not a pleasing card. It's just, you know, two guys on a card, right? That is one of the most aesthetically pleasing cards Topps ever put out. Again, like I always say with that card, the first official action shot on a baseball card, okay? Yes, I know they had action shots in the 56 set that were painted. They had some action shots in the uh, uh, in the 69 All-Star cards, the, um, the Sporting News All-Star cards. It was kind of like behind the face of the player. But as a regular issue card, this is the first card Topps did as an action photograph. 
And the pitcher, that's a, the picture, is a pitcher sliding into home. And that's Chuck Dobson from the A's. Um, and, I mean, how can you not love that card? Just unbelievable. Unbelievable card. So, again, another one of the cards that I'm super, super, super psyched to have in the collection. Next card is the card that started it all off for me. And it's the 1976 Topps Fred Lynn. Actually, this is my highest graded one. I thought my number eight, my eight was my highest graded, but I was actually able to pick this up in a nine. And it's not something I am not trying to do the Trophy Cup run, you know, the, the registry. If I see one for a decent price, I might pick it up. But um, it's not a registry that I'm really working on. Um, just it's it's too much. This is like well over four or five hundred cards in the run, so not going to do it. <laughs> But when I saw that card as a child, the very first baseball card I ever saw was this card. Um, I, I talked about this story many times. My uncle, my, my great uncle, worked in a, in a New York City public school, and he was like a custodian. And I'm assuming, you know, I remember he gave me a bag, a brown bag, you know, the old school lunch bags, filled with baseball cards back when I was a kid. When I say filled, it was probably 100, maybe maybe 200 cards and they're pretty much all 75 and 76 tops and i remember when you know he gave it to me i opened the bag and i just the first card i took out because i didn't ever see what a baseball card was up until then right and I, this is the first card i picked out that out of the bag that was the first one on top and i was like wow that's so cool and then you know of course that card's long gone now i wish i still had it but that's long gone and those cards are probably you know thrown in a draw somewhere and yeah i that's what I did in 1976 and 77 and 78. My cards were, you know, thrown in drawers and put rubber bands around and in boxes, out of boxes, on the floor. You know, that's what we did with the cards back then. So um, I no longer have those, unfortunately. But that was one of the ones I had to pick up because that's the one that started this whole craze. And now you can see that the rookie cup or the trophy cup, whatever you want to say, is now changed. Okay. They changed the design from the trophy. There was a trophy all the way up until 1972. And then in 1973, they replaced it with this wait, wait, the rookie cup. Like, you know, like the Stanley Cup, it's the rookie cup. So that's what they used since 1973 on, and that's what they still use today, is that cup. And you can see here, it's a big, you know, very bright yellow cup. So there's that one. And then the last card in my little graded run is kind of, I don't it's not oddball or anything like that, but um, I saw it for a really good price. It's an alternate al, alternate um, image variation of the um, Kyle Schwarber rookie card because it's a rookie card and a Trophy Cup card. It's got the rookie card logo and the Trophy Cup, and it's a 2016 Kyle Schwarber in the, um, the gray jersey variation. So definitely wanted to pick that up. And um, you can see, again... A change in design from the 76 all the way to the 2016 and there's been different versions in between they shrunk the rookie cup which kind of ticks me off a little bit they shrunk it and they gave it a little more I guess you would say a little more definition with the wooden base um, but I would wish they would go back to a bigger size cup because there's plenty of room in that card to make that that cup bigger right so guys that is the end this is a long video. This is like almost 30 minutes long. I just kept on going on and on. But I think this deserves it. That marks the end of uh, the, the, the first part of the series of my Rookie Cup collection. Um, these are my graded versions. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, please leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. And uh, again, I appreciate all the feedback I get and all the comments you guys leave. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, so that's it, guys. That's what I got tonight. Um, there won't be a third video tonight, but... Um, I just wanted to share that. So everybody have a great night. I'll see you at the next video. May the cardboard God shine down upon each and every one of you. And I'm just going to do the whole stack. This whole stack. 19 beautiful baseball cards are taking us out tonight with Willie on top. Rock on, guys.